It's an absolute pleasure here to discuss the abstract we presented at the EHA 2022 Congress uh, from the REVEAL study. So in polycythemia vera, we've long known the association between elevated blood counts and thrombosis risk, in particular, an elevated hematocrit level and thrombosis risk. In fact, hematocrit is a target that we go after with treatments, whether we're talking about phlebotomies or medications to control that count. And we want to keep the hematocrit under 45 or even lower in some patients. But the elevations in white blood cell count and platelet counts that come along with PV uh, has been less studied in terms of its relationship with thrombosis risk. Uh, there have been other studies that have been done, but, but these things, the results from these studies have not been consistent. So we use the REVEAL study, which is the largest prospective study of polycythemia vera ever conducted. It included over 2,500 patients. To leverage that large data against looking at the association between elevated counts and thrombosis risk. So we were able to identify over 2,200 patients that had adequate blood count evaluations, as well as thrombosis history recorded uh, during the observation period, and as well as the period that was the six months lead in before the observation period. And from that, we looked at several different cut points for white blood cell count, both 11 and 12, as well as platelet counts, 400 and 600. And we did see a significant association between elevated white blood cell count, greater than 11 and greater than 12, and increased thrombosis risk. When we look at platelet counts over 400, we did see an association with increased risk. But when you increase that threshold to the 600, the association began to dissolve. And we're not sure why we saw that change. It could be uh, due to small numbers or some other effect that we weren't accounting for. And of course, when doing all these analysis, we accounted for other known risk factors for blood clots, such as age and prior history of blood clot. We and then took patients who had hematocrits less than 45%, uh, you know, those with good hematocrit control, and tried to look at this again. And we did definitely see trends toward increased risk with elevated white cell count and platelet counts. And overall, what this suggests is that our classic model for evaluating high risk versus low risk polycythemia vera may be in fact antiquated. And we should include additional factors such as white blood cell count and platelet count when determining who's at high risk for thrombosis and may warrant uh, more aggressive control of the counts. Moreover, we're looking at additional factors in the database such as jack 2 allele burden and other analyses of cytokines and, and other markers of thrombosis to hopefully refine risk prognostication for thrombosis in patients with polycythemia vera. So this is a good first step, and uh, we look forward to uh, developing a better way of predicting thrombosis risk in these patients in the future using this large prospective observational study.